hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video we're gonna learn how we can solve certain uh, issues uh, we faced in the last uh, video how to customize your metahuman and uh, we in this video we want to do uh, uh, solve uh, the uh, the post process post process uh, issues uh, uh, that uh, come uh, when uh, we change the skeleton drastically right so to do this, as you can see, uh, we have uh, our wrist uh, here uh, is uh, messed up and uh, on the other hand, it's as well messed up. So we want to sort this out so we can preserve the post-process animation blueprint for our bodies, right? So I'm going to open the, uh, the body uh, skeletal mesh and I'm going to scroll down and uh, I'm going to navigate to the post-process animation blueprint and click on it, right? Once so we click on it, just uh, let's select our metahuman here so we can see what's going on. And uh, once uh, we open the animation blueprint, we can uh, double click on the animation graph. And now we have here control rig, right? Double click on it. And uh, once we double click on it, uh, we will see our metahuman. If you don't see your uh, body, you can go to rig uh, hierarchy. Uh, select the root bone and the uh, refresh and select uh, your uh, uh, body you want to preview here right so keep that in mind and uh, now we want to make the changes uh, that uh, will uh, fix our uh, our wrists right so we will start with the left hand and we will write here hand l and uh, we will uh, uh, set uh, a translation node we will create this tr uh, set translation node and we will go with local space right i'm gonna go here with uh, zero we don't want to uh, uh, okay and uh, uh, one uh, more node we want to add uh, before everything is a uh, set rotation right set rotation we will select local space as well and uh now we can go ahead and uh and uh modify our uh, our wrist right so uh, to do that we need to select the, the bone in our case it's uh it's a uh, hand uh, underscore l and uh, create uh, an interaction here control bone transform this will add a uh, transform gizmo and uh, now we can uh, we can uh, uh, move around this bone right this is not a permanent change so uh, if you do this here it, once you compile it's gone that's why we are using these nodes to preserve what we saved here right i'm trying to make it so it looks as it should as much as possible right and uh, I'm not very uh, precise with this, but I'm trying my best. So check it from all angles, make sure everything uh, is uh, fine. Uh, don't uh, rush it because uh, the, the more you spend time with it and uh, make sure you align it properly, uh, the better it will look, right? So I think uh, for this, uh, for this, I think we, we, we're we done with it. It looks fine. I'm trying to see if we can improve it just a little bit more, but I think this is it, right? Probably a little bit up here. Right. I think this is it. Okay, and now we have here all the uh, changes we've made, right? So, if uh, we select uh, uh, the location, copy location, select the bone and paste. Now we have to do the same for uh, rotation. Uh, we will uh, copy this individually. I think it doesn't work if uh, we do it uh, the same as we did it for our location. And uh, now that we've copied it, now we can uh, we can plug it in, right? So if we plug it in, as you can see, uh, 
the problem is solved let's compile it okay and uh, let's check it in our skeletal mesh previewer i think it looks good the problem is solved right and uh, we have to do it for uh, for uh, the other side as well right for uh, for our right hand so to do that we will go back to our control rig and uh, just move a little bit here and we will uh, select the nodes duplicate them and uh, here you can uh, as you can see you can select it uh, you can select hand right and do the same for the translation node hand right okay and uh, we need to we need to uh, inverse uh, the location because we're doing uh, on the other hand so we will do this manually like minus add a minus here minus here and make this positive we just invert it right and uh, let's see how it works well with the location okay the location is the same and now we have to connect uh, the rotation as well right and i think this is it this is how we did it on the other hand without uh, without uh, dragging uh, without creating the transform uh, gizmo right so let me save this save it's gonna take a little bit right okay it's saved and now let's check it here as you can see the problem is uh, solved and uh, now we can uh, test with an animation let's check it out let's check it with uh, the idle animation first it looks good we don't have any problems okay probably we could have done a better job but uh, that's up to you to spend more time with it and let's check the run animation so uh, the wrists uh, now look good and uh, i think uh, yeah this is it for this video i'm not sure if this is the best way to solve this issue but uh, it's uh, working for uh, this uh, example here uh, I want to hear if you have any any more experience with control rigs and how to solve this certain uh, type of issues because uh, I found this uh, just by uh, digging uh, through uh, through the engine digging through the projects digging through the metahumans and trying a lot of stuff until i got this idea with the control rig so uh, let me know what you what you think about it let me let me know uh, if you have a better solution for uh, our problem here and uh, see you around bye